I am Dr. R. Amuda, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Physics, Nirmala College for Women, Coimbatore. Now, we are going to learn about helium neon laser. The helium neon laser is based on the principle of stimulated emission produced in the active medium of gas. Here, the population inversion is achieved due to the interaction between the two gases which have closer higher energy levels. Construction It consists of a gas discharge tube which is made up of quartz. This tube is filled with the mixture of helium gas which is under a pressure of 1 mm of mercury and neon gas under the pressure of 0.1 mm of mercury. Hence, the ratio of the helium neon mixture is 10 is to 1, that is, the number of helium atoms is greater than the number of neon atoms. Radio frequency oscillator is used to produce electrical discharge in the helium neon mixture. The Brewster windows are used to produce plain polarized light by reflecting the perpendicularly polarized light. 100% reflecting and partial reflecting mirrors are act as a resonant cavity. Now, let us see the working of a helium neon laser. This is the energy level diagram. These are the ground state and excited states of helium and neon gas. By the electrical discharge, the ground state helium atoms are excited to higher energy levels. This excitation occurs due to the collision of discharged electrons with helium atoms. The excited helium atoms collide inelastically with the neon atoms which have close energy level as that of the helium energy level. Therefore, the helium atom delivers its energy to neon atoms by the process known as resonant collision energy transfer. This resonant energy transfer takes place because the corresponding energy levels of helium 2s1 and 2s2 are almost closer to the neon energy levels 2s and 3s. The probability of energy transfer from neon to helium decreases because of high pressure in helium than neon and also because of its density in the mixture. Thus, some of the helium atoms are de-excited and come back to ground state. We have two sets of sublevels 3s and 2s and 2p and 3p. Between these levels, three predominant laser transition takes place. Stimulated emission takes place between 3S and 2P emitting 6,328 angstrom of, of radiation. Stimulated emission between 3S to 3P gives 3.39 micrometer of radiation. Stimulated emission between 2S to 2P gives 1.15 micrometer of radiation. The atoms undergo transition from 2p to 1s by spontaneous emission. The transition from 1s to ground level takes place by non radiative process. Since the electron density in 3s and 2s levels of neon is always greater than the other levels of neon, we get continuous laser output of wavelengths 6328 angstrom with few milliwatt power. Thank you.